Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here with a bit of an eclectic haul. I've got things from here, there, and everywhere, so I'm just going to share it with you. And forgive the lighting, it's it's cloudy today here, and I don't know, this weather's wacky for this time of year. We should be in summer, but it feels like still like we're in winter. Anyhow, so it's a bit gloomy, but anyway, I'm just going to get into this. So I went into the 99 cent only store. I like to buy, um, they have like peanuts and that kind of stuff banana chips things like that and they're reasonably priced so I go in there usually to get that every now and then and some juice that we like that they carry so um anyway that's what I went in there for but while I was in there I came upon this and I've shown this on my um Instagram channel and um but for those who don't watch me there, you can see it here. Um, and it's funny because, you know, it's called the 99 cent only store. And this item was not only, it wasn't 99 cents, it was two ninety nine. <laughs> so you know how that goes. Um, it's a glass cutting mat. I have the We Are Memory Keeper one, which I've loved and I use it. But I wanted to have an alternative to change out. I get bored with looking at the same thing all the time. And this one was just so pretty and again you know it has rubber feet on the back to protect your surface and um, I've been using it to cut on and it works perfect and that's what it's for so again it was $2.99 but I have to show you this look at the darn price tag $2.99 and $99 <laughs> I mean they why they just put three dollars you know <laughs> and go through all that hassle so anyway that was one of the first things that I got there I also picked up some cheesecloth from there because I um, used that. And the last thing I got from there, they had this washi tape um, Create 365, which you know is at Michael's or whatever. But um, I thought it was kind of pretty and I, I use washi tape, so I thought it was a good buy for a buck. So then, uh, let's see, let's jump into the Dollar Tree. I uh, walked into Dollar Tree just to, you know, it's good that they're off season because they don't really have a lot of stuff that you really have to have in your cart. Um, what I did pick up was this. Um, yeah, it's a lay, uh, but I figured, I thought these would be cute, like if you tore them off and used them, you know, as a layering piece for embellishments. I don't know, I just think they're cute and, I mean, you could use it in its whole or you could fold it in half and use it behind something. I just think it's pretty. So the colors were nice and you get a gazillion for a buck. Um, they had this really cute polka dot ribbon. You get nine feet, three yards. So that that was a good deal. You know, I had to get this because it's swans. <laughs> and it's just so silly. But anyway, it. It does, um, here, let me pull those. It lights and it changes and it goes fast and then it goes slow and then it speeds up and gives you a headache. So I'm not going to let it do that. I just like it to have it on my desk. It's just a cute little swan thing. Um, I picked up some more of these. I already got some of these new embroidered hoops that they carry. They have them in different sizes and colors, but I got the little pink ones to alter. Haven't got around to that yet. Still doing wedding stuff. Um, they had these in the Crafter Square, these wood veneer pieces, hearts and circles. So those always come in hand. And then the last thing from Dollar Tree were the discs, these little expansion discs. Man, I don't know how they expect you to expand much because they're very tiny. I mean, look, that's my fingernail. So it gives you an idea. They're very tiny, but my idea is just to use them as dangle on dangles put a little um bale to the back of it or drill a hole in it put a jump ring and put a little picture in the middle and bam done so that was that and then i went into well this is an online um from uh instagram someone was selling these um photo albums so i picked them up i thought one would be cute you know winter and fall so i thought those were pretty cute and as a free gift which a nice free gift she gave me a big stack of these pretzel kind of bags which i thought was so nice i mean that's a great free gift so that was that um let's see my heidi swap uh, stamp of the month came in i should be getting another one soon i've had this for a little bit but that's that if you were interested to see it. I went into Michael's um, just basically to get some paper because I like some of the colors they have and I run out of it all the time. 
And so I picked up the Tea Party blush and Summer Days. Those are my favorite. And then I picked up one of the gold foil. I've been using this like crazy, so I needed some more. And, you know, it cracks me up because they say lowest prices of the year, 60% off. And then you go in and, yeah, sure, everything's kind of on sale because you have to buy one at regular price to get the next one at half price. So I don't know. This, I don't know why they just whatever. But um, speaking of cardstock, and if you're interested, I think Joann's is having their uh, 10 for $3 this week so you may want to go check that out make sure it's happening I believe it is but just make sure before you go on my word sorry I'm moving that out of the way I also picked up these now these are um, not marked in the store as clearance but when you scan them even though it says $19.99 but when you scan it it comes up as five dollars um, I only picked up this one I just thought it was cute. I'm trying not to buy these kind of pads, but this one's a special edition, which is nice because it's foiling. It comes with um, solids and it comes with, you know, just other colors. And it has orange and I'm not a big fan of orange, but I want to use some orange. I don't know. I just felt like in the mood for some orange <laughs> and it's so pretty. So anyway, I picked that one up. It's called Sunny Days Ahead. And then they also had um, other stuff on sale. They had, whoops, um, this wire, which I like to have. It was 60% um, off, I think, $3.99, so dollar something, dollar sixty. And I got the gold and the white. And then in the children's section in Creatology, they had a lot of stuff marked down. These were 50 cents, and these are gigantic um, sequins. And my idea is to use them for um, embellishments, using them on, you know, the background of an embellishment. Um, it has a hole in it, so I suppose you could dangle something from it this way if you wanted to. And yes, I know you could punch this out of that gold paper that I showed you, but why waste paper when you have these? And it's just a different surface, different texture, so I got them in pink and gold. And I think if you turn them over, they're silver. I don't know. Pink and gold. <laughs> so, okay. That was that. Then, so Alicia, who is Love love Letter Generation here on YouTube, was doing um, some Maggie Holmes embellishments that go with the Woodland Grove. And the minute I saw it, I fell in love with the frame that she showed. And so I'm like, Alicia, where did that come from? So she gave me the name of the seller on AliExpress. And it's this frame right here. And it embosses really nicely. It has two layers. It's really beautiful. Um, I'll try to link her video so you could see it in the description if you want to check it out. But super cute um, die. And then I also figured I'd get the rectangular ones as well. And while I was ordering from them, I picked up a roll of this 1 8 inch tape that they have just to see how it is. Um, I'm always using 1 8. So that was from there. Then from... Um, Scrap Diva. I didn't make samples of this because y'all have seen. Whoops! Shoot! I didn't want to drop what I just dropped. <laughs> um, this is her mini album page pocket or something. I don't remember what it's called, but that's that. And then the pop up loaded envelope. I think that's called. I picked those up. I think those are adorable. And of course, if you're on Instagram. Sorry, I'm picking up what I dropped. If you're on Instagram, you've seen all these crazy, cute things that everybody creates with them. So I just had to get them. And I also, oh, I also got this one, the golf cart. My fiance is a golfer, so I know this will come in hand. And plus, it looks cute just the way all the girls have been using them, not for golfing people. <laughs> um, my Creative Time had their new release come out. And the only thing I wanted to get were these two banners. Um... This one has this on the outside, so you can use it as a standalone, but this also can layer on top of there, and it looks really cute together. Um, it's a double-stitched line, so I went ahead and picked those up. And then from Pink Fresh Studio, they had a die that's just very intriguing to me. It's called the Rosette die, and it comes with, or it doesn't come with, you have to buy separately 
a stencil that goes with this and I have it here because I did get this both I got them on um, Etsy someone was selling it together so I just got them there um, and I made some samples because I want you to see how pretty they are um, I'm not good at this at stencil stuff I don't do it much but I still want you to see how pretty look at how pretty those came out I did these I put the center and these little ones I didn't put the center but I just wanted you to see the way the colors look they're so cool and I think this adds such a pretty background to uh you know anything that you're making and then you could also you know theme it to if it's Christmas use red and green or whatever and you don't have to worry about dimension because they're flat <laughs> so it gives the appearance of a rosette but a flat rosette so super cool dye I love it then let's see do I have some more yes one more this is from the a place called the Maker's Movement. And the Maker's Movement used to be, um, well, no, I don't want to say what they used to be. They sell Cherry Lynn dyes, which are no longer. And um, I went on there to look for something, and they had a sale, so I decided to pick up a few things. And one of them is this beautiful little doily and I did cut it out right there so you could kind of see how it is it's not very big it's probably an inch and a half two inches um, in diameter I think it's two by two actually um, but it is very pretty and I have a thing for doilies I just love them and so I grabbed that one um, one time Christian was doing a drinks live it had you know like fruity drinks cocktail drinks and Although I love those dies that she used, they were way big, and I just wanted something smaller to do the same thing. And so they had this die, which I thought was super cute. Let's see, I'll try to see if I can show you what's back here. Um, this one is drinks, but they're tiny, so you can actually make little embellishments with them. You have your little strawberry, your straw, cherries, lemon, an umbrella some leaves some ice cubes and then your three different types of drinks so so cute and i'm so happy i found it that it, they're you know small because i love small and that's called cocktail and they do have um stuff still on sale on their site um they made a boo-boo with my order and they sent me this instead of something else so then they corrected it but they told me just to to keep this one so i didn't cut it out but i don't know if i'll even keep it i may give it away or something um, and then this is the one they were supposed to send and they didn't send. This is another doily. It's called the Swedish Spring Oval Frame. And I really wish this had been just bigger, but I'm okay with it the size it is. I mean, that's the size of it. And But look how pretty that is. And it's so unusual because of the shape. It's oval, not round. And I love that. And I love that because um, I like to use doilies in my projects and... I like that I'll be able to choose the colors, not just wait for, you know, Dollar Tree to have a red one or a blue one or whatever. I can do my own. So really happy about that one. And then finally, and this one I was totally happy with, this is a huge one. It's called a Mega French Pastry Die. And look at the size. I mean, that's like bigger than my hand on, on this thing. It's big, but I love it. And I did cut it out for you to see. Look at how pretty that is. So again, you know, you, you get the benefit that you can pick any color you want. And oh, I just love it. I'm so happy with that. So I will link the Maker's Movement down below for you um, if you're interested in checking them out. So that's about all I have to share with you today. I am busy working on wedding stuff still. I know it feels like that's all I ever say, but um, I'm working on my wedding album and I'm just about done. I have a, a, a little bit more to go, but I'm almost done. Um, and I'm trying to do that today. So that's where I'm headed back right now as soon as I'm done with this. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, do what makes you happy. Bye for now.